Hello friends, welcome to my channel Pies and Tacos. Today we're making coffee macarons. They are filled with a swirl of espresso and mocha frosting. And these coffee macarons are super delicious and already popular on the blog. If you like macaron recipes, subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every week. And also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. To start, we're going to get all of our materials and ingredients ready. Now let's sift the powdered sugar and the almond flour together and set it aside. Also, line a large piping bag with a large round piping tip. The tip that I use is a half an inch in diameter. Place a bowl over a pan with barely simmering water. Add granulated sugar and today I'm also using egg white powder. Egg white powder is a great addition to macarons. It makes the shells fuller, it makes the meringue more stable. It's totally optional, but now I use it pretty much every time I make macarons. Now add the egg whites to the bowl and whisk the ingredients over the double boiler until the sugar has melted. It should only take one to two minutes. If you don't feel any sugar granules between your fingers, you should remove the bowl from the double boiler and transfer the syrup to a mixer. Begin by whisking on low and then gradually increase the speed to medium. Whisk on medium until the meringue looks thick. And finally, finish whipping on medium high or high speed. I like to whip my meringue on medium high until it achieves stiff peaks. So here, since the meringue looks pretty thick, we're going to check and see how it's coming along. Here, this looks like a stiff peak to me. It is shooting straight up, it's not bending down, so we're ready to go. I'm just going to transfer my meringue to this bowl so I can show you the macaronage a little bit better. Add the dry ingredients to the meringue and begin by folding with a spatula. Fold until the perfect consistency is achieved. A lot of people ask me how long they should whip the meringue or do the macaronage. And I can't tell you how long to do that for. This is something you're going to have to figure out. Because the consistency of your meringue may not be the same as mine. Our mixers and equipments are not the same. The climate we're in is different. And the way we're folding it, the intensity with which we're folding the batter are also different. So it's important that you figure out what each stage is supposed to look like without setting a timer for when you should stop mixing. So here, as you can see, the batter is still too thick. It's still flowing way too slowly off the spatula. We need a batter that's flowing a little bit more effortlessly than this. So let's continue folding. One of the signs that you might be done folding is when you pick up some batter with a spatula and you're able to draw several figure eights with the batter that's falling off the spatula without breaking up. And even after the batter breaks up, it still continues to flow slowly and effortlessly off the spatula. Thank you. 
Now let's add some of the espresso powder to the batter and give it a couple of folds to incorporate briefly. Then transfer the batter to the piping bag you've prepared earlier. Pipe the macarons by placing the piping bag 90 degrees over the center of each circle template, applying gentle pressure for about 3 seconds and then pulling the bag up. After you're done piping the shells, bang the trays against the counter to release any air bubbles and also use a toothpick to pop any remaining air bubbles from the surface of the macarons. And then we're going to let the macarons rest for 20 to 40 minutes, it depends on how humid the kitchen is. Also when I add egg white powder to my macarons, I notice that they dry away faster. Let the macarons rest until they feel dry to the touch, then you can bake them. I bake mine at 325 for 15 to 20 minutes. Time baking and temperature will depend on your oven. Bake until you can wiggle a macaron and it's not gonna feel jiggly. That's when you can remove them from the oven. To make this real frosting, we will begin with a basic espresso cream cheese frosting. Cream the butter and cream cheese with a mixer until fluffy for 2 minutes or so. With the mixer off, add the powdered sugar. I like to sift my powdered sugar before I add it. Also add Kahlua or vanilla extract. And then cream with the mixer until combined. Add the espresso powder and mix until incorporated. Now we're going to split the frosting between two bowls. To one bowl we're going to add cocoa powder and cream until incorporated. If the frosting is too thick like mine is here you can add a little bit of water or milk to thin it out. Line a large piping bag with the tip you want to use to pipe the filling and the macarons and set it aside. Lay a piece of plastic wrap on the counter. Spread the espresso frosting on a thick strip and then spread the mocha frosting right next to it. Then roll the plastic wrap to form a log. Now 
and then insert the log of frosting inside the piping bag. Pipe the frosting on the bottom shell of the macarons by applying equal pressure on all sides so both frostings come out with the same intensity. You can pipe a bit of frosting on top of each macaron sandwich like I'm doing here and then decorate with a chocolate covered espresso bean. I hope you enjoyed today's video, this is one of my favorite flavors. Check out my blog for the full recipe and also for over 80 macaron flavors and ideas. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, I post new videos every week. Thanks for watching, bye!